Okay, and on this next screen, it's going to ask, do you see any fast boot device listed above? Which we do. We see the serial number right here, and it says fast boot next to it. So we're going to choose option one. We're going to hit enter. Okay, now, this uh, popped up on my phone. It says unlock bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software on this phone. A custom OS is not subject to the same testing as the original OS and can cause your phone and installed applications to, to stop working properly. To prevent unauthorized ac access to your personal data, unlocking the bootloader will also delete all personal data from your phone. Factory reset. Press the volume up, down buttons to select yes or no, then press the power button to continue. Okay. Now before I select this, I'm just going to verify on my computer screen what the program wants me to do. Okay. It says, unlocking. You should now see a screen titled Unlock Bootloader. If you do not see the screen, then you need to repeat part two of the driver configuration. On your device, select yes to unlock. Okay. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to my phone and I'm going to use the volume rocker right here. I'm going to go up to yes. And then I will hit the power button to enter. Okay. Okay, so now my bootloader is unlocked. Now what we can do is move on to the root process. See the phone is booting up. You won't notice any change from an unlocked bootloader. Um, you know, if you just do an unlocked bootloader, you, you know, you might say, oh, I don't notice any difference at all. Well, the thing you just need, with the Galaxy Nexus, you need to unlock the bootloader in order to root the phone. So once this is done loading up, we're going to continue on how to root the phone. Well, you know, once you unlock your bootloader, it may appear, um, you know, that the first boot, uh, something's wrong with it. This is known as uh, boot looping. Just be patient and it will boot up. It, this is, it's common with the Nexus to you know, almost simulate a boot loop. So once this is back up and running, we're going to have to go through the initial setup again and we're going to have to enable the USB debugging. Okay, here's the, let me just center my camera. Okay, here's the welcome screen. I'm sorry for the glare on the screen. It's, uh, I don't have a window blind. Okay, so once you get through the setup, you just go to back to settings, developer options, and check USB debugging, hit OK, and then go back to your home screen. Okay, now we're ready to root the phone. Alright. Now that we're ready to root the phone, go back on the computer. 
go back to the Galaxy Nexus Root Toolkit and right under Unlock you will see a button that says Root which is right here. Okay. Okay, it says this this will root your device by flashing clockwork mod custom recovery, which you will then boot into and use flash and use to flash superuser.zip. Okay. It just says to make sure I have USB debugging enabled and then hit any key to continue. Okay, and there's my devices that are attached. You see the device listed above. Hit one for yes. Hit enter. And now it's preparing to flash to Clockwork Mod Custom Recovery. It's rebooting into uh, the bootloader again. And my phone did uh, boot into bootloader. So now it's asking, do you see any fast boot device listed above? There is one. Um, there's the serial number to the phone. So I'm going to hit yes and then hit enter. It says that it, it's, uh, let's see, it finished, total time 1.9 seconds, press any key to continue. Okay, for the following instructions. It says on your device, switch from the big green start to the red recovery mode. All right, let's see if we can get this going. I don't know how they want me to, there we go. Okay, use your volume rocker to, to select recovery mode. There it is right there. And now I'm just going to hit enter. Now we have to wait until the phone boots into recovery. There's the Clockwork Mod Recovery right here. We're going to go to Scroll to Install Zip from SD Card, which is the second one down. We will hit Enter. And then we are going to choose the uh, Zip from SD Card. And there's the superuser.zip on the bottom. It's asking to confirm. I'm going to hit yes. Now that that is installed, I'm going to hit go back. I'm going to go back again. Okay, now I'm going to choose Reboot System Now. I don't know why that just did that. It was 
my power button that was supposed to be used as the enter key was turning my screen off and on and then it just worked so now the phone is booting back up we're gonna wait until the system boots back up Okay, now that the system is booted back up, we're going to hit any key on the screen. Whoops. And this box, hit any key. And then we just have to press any key to uh, launch the permanent clockwork command script. Okay, so that's it. Um, the next, you know, the final stages is install ROM Manager from the market and have it reflash to recovery. And then it says use ROM Manager to make your first clean stock backup. And that's it. Enjoy being rooted. If you guys have any questions, just you know, just feel free to comment in the section below. If you like my videos, subscribe. Um, you know, I tried to be as hands-on with this as possible tried to cover every aspect of what i was seeing so i'm sorry for the shakiness on the camera but you know i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope i was able to help some of you some of you out and thanks again for watching guys and until next time you know you guys take care